fucking blows. Dude. <laughs> We are going live. You're on help me. All right. We are going live once again as we move into what is what this matchup actually these two have history where obviously when the game first started Ling Ling ha was just sort of running over Bobo but over time especially after he started picking up Snake he started to ch I think he's won certain sets. I don't know if he's ever won a tournament over him but at the very least Despite the fact that Ling, I believe, is seated first at this tournament, uh, Bobo could definitely take this. Oh, yeah. And, and Bobo especially was telling me, like, he really respects Ling as a player. He feels like when you're playing Ling, like, it's really hard to, like, just, like, trick him or get something over on him. You really have to play, like, you have to play pretty honest because Ling is really, really smart, especially in the neutral. Like yeah, and, off stage. and that's a little bit snake. Oftentimes, it feels like yeah. he wins because the the opponent just got hit by stuff. Yeah. And Ling Ling, on top of you know being a smart player, his character and the creativity to her movement, how she can micro space between all these projectiles, means that it's going to be a lot harder. He's going to have to go for more bulky aerials Absolutely. in order to actually connect hits on Ling Ling. Yeah, and, and right now Bubble messing up that ledge trap, He's trading too much with his own grenades. Stuck off stage, nice air dodge to ledge, and Link tried to cover it with the side view. Bubba was like, get out of here. Nice. Oh my god. Oh. I respect the idea, but Link was just not biting. I mean, yeah, it, you, the thing is though that, that normally up tilt's just a great anti-air, but Peach has the tool, the tool singularly being flown, yeah. to basically just put herself at the exact time where she yeah. baited that out and it can like, be really I'm not coming down. Right? Yeah, I know. It can be really hard for characters to punish up tilt sometimes because of the hitbox, because of the fact you have to respect it. But Peach could just put herself wherever. Oh, he Ooh, forgot. Wow. <laughs> like, I imagine forgot. that. I forgot. It's so hard to see C4 <laughs> on the stage, especially. I also just pulled the turnip. I just like to imagine he pulled the turnip out of the ground and there's just a C4 oh, on it. Oh, to him. Oh. <laughs> the ultimate stitch face. Oh, my God. Bobo stuck off stage. I don't think he has a jump. No, he doesn't. Oh, forced up B again. Air dodge to the ledge. Link covers it with an air, but he's not back on stage. Yeah, did a really good job of getting in front of him so that that uh, neutral air reversed. And he's alive, and that's all that matters. He, As Snake, if he hits him once, he can do like 50, 60%, which at the very least, even if he dies, will, you know, there's a huge difference between starting off against a two-stocked opponent when they're at like 11 versus 60. Yeah, especially with, like, Ling is also like, doing a really good job of like when he's got Bubble in the corner, he's just like taking his time, reacting to what Bubble's doing, holding center stage, especially he's like he has not let go of the stage at all. And it's made it really hard for Bubble to get anything started. Yeah, just trading back to center. Bubble's still in the corner. Oh, yeah, and not only that, but if you notice the way Ling moves, even if he moves away from center, you know, he goes up, it feels like he has a, an exact path to return yeah. to where he has control of the stage. Oh, really great job. They're getting the forward air to for all this damage. A lead on that air dodge could be huge for him. This might be it for Bobo. He still has another stock from Ling to get through. Goes to up below in the forward air to break the cypher and hit him on the way out. That's game one. Yeah, a very convincing game. Uh, Ling Ling wasn't able to get to 69%. He did cap off at 68. No, yeah, he wasn't worthy. At least not in that game, he wasn't worthy. Uh, so what adjustments do you think Bobo needs to make uh, against Ling Ling here? I feel like Bobo really needs to take his time. I feel like a lot of the times that Bobo got hit was more so because Ling was just waiting for him to overextend. And then, and then Bobo ended up overextending. Especially as, as Snake 2, this is a character where like you have the liberty to take your time, especially in, in the match. You know, Bobo should definitely beat that one. On top of that, I feel like he's not sort of res or like understanding the way that Peach can. Oh, Stitch Face, Stitch Face. I will finish my thought oh after my he takes God. 62. <laughs> 79. Oh, God. oh and he, he still has Stitch it. Stitch Face on deck. 114 from this. Nair. Oh my God, he still got the Stitch Salty. Oh. And he's still 150. All of that basically because of the stitch. Oh, and uh, okay, well, it's hard to just <laughs> play around. It's that. hard to shake that off. Too. Yeah. Um, but it's the sort of thing where, like, Peach RNG, you can see that there has to be skill behind it. Like, yes. if some Randy Peach pulled a stitch, he would not get 150 off of it. All right. Momo really needs to find a way to get something started. Ling is playing so. He, this is like a, a level of, like,. Ling like plays just outside of your reach, where like he's like, "All right, you're gonna press a button. I'm ready for it." Like, it, it, it's pretty, it's pretty, in, it's pretty interesting how like how like aggressive he can play like just outside of your space. 
Oh, yeah, and I think that's one thing that Bobo isn't quite doing because it's specific to Peach, the way she can move. And it feels like he's cutting off angles that normally a character would go through, you know? Oh, right there, actually getting the up tilt, catching the landing, and taking that stock. This is a not bad position for him Absolutely to be in. Not. He's 94%. Obviously, this is not great for him. He's got a little bit of rage on him, but Snake's a heavy boy, so it's going to be a little bit longer before he dies, especially on Battlefield, no less. Vice is way back with the downer. Dash tech to catch the landing. Ooh, and this overextension there from Bobo. I feel like in that situation, he should have just, like, opted to hold center stage, but Link just going straight into the forest match. I think he assumed that the hitbox wouldn't connect with if he was that high, but... That hitbox is chunky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. Hitbox. I think the f is it the f f slowest forward smash in the game. I feel like it is. I think it is. I mean, it deserves to at least be a little chunky. Oh, nice um, grab. Okay. Oh, Trades coming out. The link coming out on top of these. Reads the standard get up down throw back here. Oh, reads the the tech away. Doesn't get anything off of it though. Bubble fighting him off stage. So far in this game, at least, it feels like Bobo's disadvantage, especially off stage, has greatly improved. Uh, that being said, though, we'll see if it continues. This he game is, is virtually no. is Peach is a light game. Down tilt. All right, remember that C4 is on the right platform. Ling Ling might forget about it. Oh, How did I know? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, Ling's shaking his head like, you got me. You got me. <laughs> what was... Wow. I mentioned it just to yeah. spill space, you man. Like, oh, it's right there. I just want to, just like, <laughs> nah. I feel like I feel like that was like a bit of a like a Barney the dinosaur like follow yeah. the bouncing ball type Absolutely. thing. Like kids, the oh, C4 is on the right, right platform. <laughs> but uh, game three, going about. I wonder what bubble ban. Probably FD. FD Kalos, I would say. Yeah, those are usually his bands. I feel like. Also, I want to. Mentioned that Bubbles playing like one of the best snake skins. The Leopard Print snake skin, fire. Look at him. That's a man. Three, two, All right. So one, if Kalos go. and FD were banned, this is basically the closest you can get. Yes. Uh, there is the FD variant on this stage, and the platforms I feel like would only help out with Peach. Uh, I, I think already having less platforms means that he's less likely to just get caught by C4. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you look at what happened to him in that last game, I feel like Ling absolutely played well. It's just that A, he died to forward smash at 50, uh, and then B, he died to a C4 that was kind of just there yeah. at like 70. I think he really forgot. I think, honestly, he may have forgot, but as he, on the way down, he was like, oh, this is right here. I'm dead. But, you know, even game nonetheless right now in game three, they're both vying for stage control here, but these trades, dash attack to break the zone. That's something that's up. honestly been working out well for uh, Bobo. Snake dash attack, I was just right as I say that. Yeah. I was saying we hadn't really seen dash attack shielded yet. Beautiful tech. And now he's the one on control on the ledge here. All right. I, I really like this from Ling Ling. He's starting to shield more. He's recognizing that Bobo in the corner wants to be throwing out a move to get out of there. Yeah. And by shielding, then he's able to effectively punish. The next step is for Bobo to start grabbing out of the corner. But that has its own risk, especially when Peach has float. God, Bubble getting a little aggressive, trying to get something started right now. He's really trying to seal out the stock before Ling builds up any sort of lead. Forward on shield. That moves minus six. He rolls straight into the C4. Bubble looking pretty healthy right now. Puts himself in the corner. Ling is just taking the time to make a plat. Trying to wait out those nades. You know, oh they've God. been killing each other pretty early. I'm just waiting for like one of them to live to like 160%. Because that could happen. Also, Bubble's Either been doing a lot of like short hop neutral airs, like in neutral, just like trying to call out like these jump ins from Ling. Hasn't really found any success with it. Has he been getting punished for it though? No, he hasn't. So, I mean, in that case, at the very least, it discourages Peach from just running in. Ling is playing it back right now. Realizes he's got the lead. He's like, you know what? I'm not trying to trade with you. I want to see if you can overextend, come into my space, so I can extend this lead further without that stop. Also notice Bobo has been placing that C4 on the platform over and over again. That's basically the default place for him to put it. It does make it much more difficult for Ling to close the gap because he gets halfway and he has to play a little bit of, uh, you know, Red Rover, Red Rover. Oh my God. Ling just very, very, like, well aware of that grenade pull grab coming out. But, you know, Bobo gets him off stage again. Set the ledge. Ooh. Good reaction to C4. I, really, I also really like the crouch from Bobo. Just by shrieking his hurt box, it really limits the timing. And he got which it. And he got it. Can go. yeah, yeah, there it is. He got the jump call out with an air. Oh, oh but the God. answer is just 
immediate. Ling Ling and Bobo both at 0% on their last stock in game three. Bobo in that game one, it looked like he was just going to get swept here. But now this is absolutely neck and neck dead even. But which one of them will actually be able to take it out? I think that there's like the first interaction that's going to happen is going to lead to like 60% either way. Oh my god, I got, got punished for that in there. Always waiting for the grenade pull, but Ling was wise enough just meant to mash out of there and get out before the grenade blew up. There. <laughs> 70%. 70%. Oh my god, stuck in a landing situation. <gasps> Ling messes up a frame trap right there. That's the block. Dash attack to punish the side B. I see four on the top left plat. <gasps> oh my god, missed oh. input from Bobo. That, that's not what he wanted. Yeah, you can see his reaction. And now he's caught up the he's ledge. Dead. Is that going to be it? Dive. Yeah. Wow. If you're Bobo, definitely you're pretty sad about that. Uh, at the end, there fell.